So, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Welcome to the Yamaha Late Night Show, a new episode. And uh, we're here at the Musik Messe 2018 in Frankfurt. And I am very happy with this day so far. We've had some fantastic guests from all kinds of different you know, genres uh, and, and other corners of music uh, speaking about you know, their own music, speaking about production from the perspective of uh, musicians, experts, and so forth. And now I'm going to get right to our next guests who are standing uh, on the sidelines here, waiting to jump on stage. On the one side, the fantastic Mr. Dave Goodman and Marin Subazic. Let's give it up. Welcome, guys. Dave, nice to have you. Marvin, have a seat. Have a seat. Feel at home. Feel like, does it feel like home? It does, excuse me. Ah, ah. After a long day, you need a drink? Can we get a drink, please, for Marvin here? It doesn't matter what. All right. Okay, so is this mic on now? That mic should be on. Just say hi. Hi. Okay, you only have one, so you're going to have to share. Okay. Well. Okay, but... <laughs> I'm assuming Hi. this is not your first time uh, sitting together, so, so I think that'll be fine. Hi, Dave. Hey, oh, maybe it is. Here. Okay. So maybe you want to introduce yourselves, or maybe I could kind of like try to introduce you. I mean, Dave, you're, you're, you're a guitar player, and Mala, you play the keyboards, right? Basically. Basically. But um, maybe you could tell us a bit about where it all started and how it came to, let's say, the cooperation with Yamaha. Oh, okay. Well, I've been working, uh, I've been a, a Yamaha artist for a long time. I think it's going on like 13, 14 years mm -hmm. or so. Um, and it's just been great. I mean, I meet so many wonderful people, wonderful musicians, um, like what we just had a few minutes ago here. Um, that's a great thing about being with Yamaha. You just come in contact with fantastic people all over the world. Different. Where, where are you from, by the way? I'm from Victoria, BC, Canada. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, you, and you, you reside in Germany, though? I reside in Germany, yeah, in Hamburg. And you like it? I love it, yeah. You love it. Yeah. Yeah, you, otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. So, so tell us a bit about when you started with music. I started uh, playing music when I was 11. I started on the violin mm -hmm. for a year, but it was too squeechy. Mm -hmm. And so I went directly to the electric guitar. And I played just electric guitar for many, many years. And at a certain point, I had enough, and I just wanted to play acoustic. So I completely changed over to being a, an acoustic player. And the guitar was your, your instrument yeah. of choice, and, yeah. and basically... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Accompanies you everywhere you go. It does. Yeah. How about how about Marin? Where, where are you from? Uh, how did you start off? Well, originally I'm from Croatia, but I live in Germany since ever. I was born in Germany, close to Cologne, and yeah, I'm playing since my, the age of six. And I was starting with Hammond organ, and developed myself to keyboards, and later also to piano. So I did the other way around, coming to the acoustic later. And since when yeah. have you been on the road for Yamaha now? For Yamaha since 2015. So we started playing with the band in, in the booth, and then I developed uh, being a product specialist for the transacoustic hybrid pianos. What does being a product specialist mean, mean, mean for you? I mean, how, how does it differ from, let's say, your job as a, a, a keyboarder in a band? Well, of course, you need to know the product right. and all the specifications, and you need to point out why this product is maybe good for some people. You know, it's not like selling it like I would... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. So I, I don't want to advertise it. I'm just saying, okay, this is a nice instrument. Look at it. Maybe you like it. It's not, 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 not more than this. So, so how did you, you two uh, get together? I, I, I heard you, you've been on tour already. Um, how was that? So, um, yeah, we, we haven't even known each other very long. Yeah, you just met and we you've already met, been yeah. on tour. Yeah. Uh, the end of last year, we... we I don't know how many dates did we have together about one <laughs> no no we played um, I don't know about 16 17 gigs, gigs? together yeah. and um, it really came about uh, from the idea of transacoustic right Yamaha transacoustic piano transacoustic guitar which are they they share some technology I mean the piano of course is a like, really incredible advanced piece of technology right. and the guitar is a, a very simple a piece of that technology that was integrated into a simple Western steel string acoustic guitar. Thank you for that key word, transacoustic. Um, yeah. uh, tell us what's so special about it, if you're talking about it already. Well, 
I would, when it comes to the transacoustic piano, I'm going to leave it to my right, man over right, here. Right, right, right. Because uh, he can do it much better than right. I can. But the guitar, um, for example, as I mentioned, it's, it's a little bit of that technology. It's an acoustic guitar. You can actually plug it in, but the, the main beauty of the instrument is that it sort of amplifies itself. Uh -huh. So you turn it on, and the sound sort of spreads out and comes from all around you. It's not like a loud amplifier, but it's just this very tasteful enhancement. So for, for uh, unplugged sessions and things like that, it's absolutely perfect, because you just take it in your hands and it's like, wow, yeah. where's that coming from? Yeah, yeah. You know? So, um, so how, is it with the, how is it with the piano? The piano is, uh, of course, more sophisticated in that it has a digital module, mm -hmm. which allows you to play a digital sound but over the soundboard of the piano, over the wood. Mm -hmm. So imagine you're at home and you don't want to disturb your neighbors. You cannot play piano at 10 o'clock in the night. Right. With the transacoustic piano, you could easily do that because you can just lower the volume of the piano. So you, you press one button, it, went, it goes to digital, and then you can lower the piano and you still, the volume, and you still play piano. And it sounds exactly like the acoustic piano because the sound is coming through the strings, through the wood, so that the experience of playing a real piano is also digital possible with the hybrid piano from Yamaha. And, and this is something really new, right? This is so new, you, you guys haven't played with it too, too often no. yet, have you? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is 2014 came on the market, and this is, what, two years old, Dave? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. All right, so. but I guess you, you're, you're probably gonna be able to play something for us here, huh? Yeah. Little sure. demonstration? Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, we're both playing transacoustic instruments, but we'll play a song and then you can ask more questions about it. So this is a song uh, from my new CD. It's a song I wrote called You Must Be In Love.
just let it slip straight out of your lips. Oh yeah, face the music now. It's gone so take a bow. Go on to it, you know how. Already broke your vows. Oh yeah, you must be. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Thank Goodman, you. Maren Subasic. So maybe you can tell us a bit about what happened here, not technically, from a, from a technical point of view, let's say, you know, we're talking about, yeah, the transacoustic piano. The piano, yeah. Uh, the whole song was played actually with the digital sound of the piano, so no acoustic sound involved in here. And I started, maybe you can see it on the screens, I have the app open here, so the whole piano is controlled over an iPad app. So I started with this stage E piano, which is like a Rhodes. But the beauty of it is any sound you play with the trans acoustic piano, as I mentioned before, is produced over the wood of the instrument. So does anybody know how a piano works? You know it. Yes, you do. You told me before. So the piano has a so-called soundboard, which is a big piece of wood, which is very, very important because it acts like a membrane. So when you hit the hammer, the hammer hits a string, the string produces the sound, but then it is picked up by the soundboard and produced loudly, beautifully in your room. So since we have a membrane, every piano on the world has a membrane, Yamaha thought, okay, we're gonna use this membrane to produce our digital sound just over the wood, over this membrane. And this is what's happening. We don't have loudspeakers. We just have two so-called transducers, big magnetic coils. They are mounted to the wood. And whatever you play is behaving exactly like a real piano. So imagine you're at home and you want to play nice and loud and have fun. And next door, your wife is watching Netflix. No chance, you have to stop playing or you just go ahead and lower the sound, lower the volume. Let me do this with a real acoustic piano. It's pretty amazing, right? That's nice. But still, the experience of playing a real piano is there. It vibrates, you feel it in the fingers, the sound is 3D in your room, it's really, really beautiful. So, and you have a lot of sounds here. You see, we have electric pianos, we have Wurlitzers and stuff, lots of sounds. But now the cool thing is also, since we have an acoustic piano, we can go ahead and combine both of these technologies. So we have the acoustic sound and we have the transacoustic. So let's play both sounds together. Now I'm playing a DX7 sound combined with the acoustic piano. Yeah, take a look, no problem. <laughs> It's really nice. It's lots of fun to do that. You have so many possibilities. You have MIDI in and out. You can hook up your favorite synthesizer to it. You can run the synthesizer back to the piano audio-wise, so you can play everything combined together. It's really, really, really cool. I will just uh, quickly yep. uh, show one or two more features before we dive into the guitar. Yep. And um, which is... Um, we have, we built in some stuff which is really, really nice if you want to record yourself. So, check it out. We have... This is my phone, just a standard, this is not an iOS device, by the way. It doesn't need to be. Anything which plays audio over Bluetooth, you can use it because the piano has Bluetooth. So now, I will go ahead, press start. No, not this one, this one. Here we go. So my phone is playing over the piano with no cables attached. So what I can do now, I will go ahead, and maybe you can see it in the app, uh, in the TV up, uh, above your head. I can go ahead and go press new song, press record, and the magic happens.
press the trans acoustic, let me see. Because now, if I did it right, I have a recording now in my iPad. Yeah. There it is. And now it's playing from the piano. Right. So I recorded my phone and my playing yeah. in one pass, which is really, really cool. There you go. Awesome. And also, somebody called you up from Canada and says, hey, here's the re recording of my guitar. He sent me that over email. I stream it to the piano, I press record, I play pi uh, piano over it, done recording, finished. Very Sounds easy. Sounds great. Cool. Well, why would you not want to have that? Is I that don't know. Right? I have one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, so, Dave, how about, how about the guitar? Well, so, to sort of get the effect of it, um, I think we have to uh, maybe just get the sound man to cut this signal here. And we'll just listen to it from the microphone. So now, this is just purely acoustic. And now I just press the power knob for a second here like this. jumps into life, it springs into action. So we've got this, this signal from this cable here is turned off. This is just right. the guitar doing its thing all by itself into this mic. very very lightly but it sort of comes from all around you so but for example when I play with Marin together um, we need to turn this on here so right. we'll get the, the actual preamp going through the PA system in combination with this mic here so let's go for it together one more time yeah yeah let's go for it Oh, yeah. 
Wow, some wonderful tunes here, ladies and gentlemen, to end the day. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time. Dave Goodman and Malvin Zubazic. Thank you Thank for you. watching. Great having you on the show. I hope you enjoyed it also, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a great day here at Yamaha. Uh, be back again tomorrow if you have the time. We're still in town. Be back for the Yamaha Late Night Show tomorrow again at 10.30, I think. Otherwise, that. Thank you for being on the show. Malvin, have a good evening. Bye-bye, everybody.